guys. I'm fucking here with you. Okay, I'm going to be reviewing a uh, final beer for tonight from Jens. Uh, this was sent to me all the way from Germany. It's a Belgian strong ale and it's from the La Caracole Brewery. I think that's how you pronounce it. And this is a Nostradamus, which comes in a big old bomber and it's got a lovely label on it. Uh, this comes in at 9%. So it's a huge old beer and it's corked. So I'm hoping it's not going to explode. Um, there's not much really on here, it just says it's a Brun. Um, but other than that, there's not really much on there. I did have a little look on um, Rate Beer, but there's no description there either. So I didn't really want to start looking through the taste notes. So, okay, let's uh, get this cage off. Hoping it's not going to explode. <laughs> I'm always cautious about Belgian beers. All right, here we go. Blimey, that's in tight. Here we go. Okay, so, nice bit of smoke. You probably just about to see that. Let's get it poured. Nice ho. So, colour wise, we're getting um, almost like a, an oaky sort of dark. Um, cherry colour, slightly off white head, um, yeah it just looks like a brown owl or something like that, um, doesn't look like there's too much carbonation going on, give it a bit of a swirl, but let's get a nose on it, see what we get, Ooh. that smells really malty, um, Yeah, getting it. In a way, it smells like um, that sort of sweaty malt, which I tend to get from Devon beers, which is really strange. I really hate that malt, by the way. Um, you've probably seen it in some of my reviews. But it's similar to that, but it's almost like it's a, a refined version of that, you know, how it should be done. Um, yeah, I'm getting sort of big red apple cores as well like a really sort of big apple not too juicy but you know that sort of really sort of deep dense apple core smell definitely getting the caramel on the uh, almost like a, a, a toffee or something like that or chewy a chewy toffee sort of smell but yeah red apple toffee caramel yeah it smells really good um I'm hoping it's not too malty, but let's give it a go. Uh, Jens, thank you very, very much for sending this down. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it at the beginning, it was from Jens. So, let's give it a go. Cheers, guys. Wow, that's quite sweet. Mmm. That apple core I was talking about actually carries over into the taste. Uh, the moment it hits your tongue, you're getting that red apple combined with almost like a, a cinder toffee. That sort of really sort of, I don't know if you get cinder toffee in the States or Denmark or wherever, wherever you are, Australia. It's almost like a brittle sort of toffee, um, slightly burnt edge on it. But you're getting that, you're getting um, a big malty caramel as well. But it's not overpowering or anything like that. It's um, it's all combined with this light body. Um, you get a slight warming of alcohol on the sides of the tongue. Doesn't last too long at all. But the predominant uh, flavour for me is that red apple. Um, it's not like a green apple, like a, a bitter or, or, or a sort of like a tangy apple. It's just... It's hard to describe, it's like a really sort of ripened red apple. Mm. And um, like I say, there's not much of an alcohol burn. It's really easy to drink, really, really easy. Um, 
and for a 9% beer I think that's really good. Like I say, the only thing that could probably put people off is this, it is a bit sweet. Um, but other than that, it's it's really, really good. I weren't expecting much when I smelt it. It sort of put me off a bit, but now that I've got it in a glass, it's really, really appealing. Um, so rating-wise, what am I going to give this? It's strange because I've never tasted a Belgian ale like this before. And I really, really like it. So for that and the fact that it was very, very well crafted, I'm going to have to give that a 9 because it's definitely one that I would try again. And um, I'm very, very glad to have tried it. So... Jens, thank you very, very, very much, as always, for sending. And, guys, uh, thank you very much for watching this little Urban Viting Hour review. Cheers!